Hey guys, I'm the Angry Mollusk, and this is a quick tutorial on how to install Minecraft, Logman Hamachi, and get a server running with Bucket. Now the first thing you're going to do is click on your internet browser. Then you're going to go to minecraft.net and log into your account. Once you've logged into your account, it'll say log in and then your username. And then you will look for the Play Minecraft Beta and click download. Once you get to the download page, you're going to look for Linux slash other. You're going to click on the minecraft.jar, and you're going to download that. I've placed my minecraft.jar on the desktop, so it's easy to find, and I can show you guys how to use it. Now, if you're new to Linux, and you've come off of Windows, you're going to try and just double-click on the minecraft.jar to get it to open. And when you do that, you're going to find that it opens up all the folders inside, which is not what you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to right-click, go to Properties, and then click on the permissions tab. Then you're going to look for execute at the bottom and click the box allowing the, it to execute the file as a program. Then you're going to close down that. You're going to right click and open with JDK. Then you should come to see that the Minecraft works. Now we're going to install Craft Bucket. The first step is to go to your internet browser and go to bucket.org. Once the page is loaded, you're going to scroll through the tabs and get to Craft Bucket. Then it'll open up a wiki. You're going to scroll down and find the Linux section and download Craft Bucket's latest recommended build. Once it's downloaded, you should place it in your desktop and then create a new folder in which you'll put it in. I'm going to name mine Server, which is short and sweet, and will make it easier when I'm running this through terminal. So now you're going to open up your terminal and type in the following command, which I'll also place in the description: cd space desktop slash in the name of the folder. So now it is open. Next, I will put in this next command, which is also in the description. It's going to copy and paste, and hit enter. Congratulations, you now have a bucket craft running. Or craft bucket, sorry. So now you have to wait, and it's going to load the first world, and also spawn the nether. So it'll take some time. So now it's done with the first world, and now it's going to spawn the nether. Once the nether is done loading, you can type in the save all command and then stop or stop. I'm going to put in save all, which you should use every time you're done with your server, which will save everything you've done simply save dash all. We will then force a save and let you know when the save is complete. And now you can type it in the stop command and close down the terminal. Next we're going to move on to Hamachi. We're going to double click on the logmin Hamachi, which is a DEB file, which can be found at this link which I'll place in the description. Then it will open up the Ubuntu Software Center and ask you if you want to install. I already have it installed, so it will offer me to reinstall, but when you first download it, it should say install. So I can just close this back down. Now that I have Hamachi installed, I have to run it through terminal since it's in beta. So now I'm going to, have to type in the following command to log into my root account, which will be sudo -i and your password. Now, as you can see, I have logged into my root. Now, if this was the first time I'd be running Hamachi, I'd type in Hamachi, and then log in. But since I've already ran Hamachi through the terminal, it automatically stayed logged stayed log in. So I'm going to leave that alone. Next, you can type in Hamachi, create, and then what the name of the network is going to be in my case in the Drunken Oyster server, and then the password. So I've already created it, so it says that it's failed, that the network is, is already taken, so yes. But for your case, it'll put in the name, and it'll load it up, and then you can, you can look at it, but just for your sake, I'll make a new one.
Right, so now it's created the, the Hamachi server. And if you want to join, or have someone else join, then they can join it with their Hamachi. Um, and on Windows, it's a lot easier because it has an actual program. Or they can join it with a simple command, join, and then the name of the server, and then the password. Once someone has joined your Hamachi network, you can put in Hamachi list, and it'll show you the people that are actually in your Hamachi. And as you can see, no one's really in it, except for me. So yes, that's all you need for starting up a Minecraft server on Linux. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment or send me a message, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.